In this tutorial, I will show you how to apply the so-called guided tracking method, where you will be manually guiding the tracking process whenever Hyde is not able to automatically track the object. Please choose a suitable starting position where the object is best to be seen. Add a layer to the timeline and choose the appropriate mask form, in this case a rectangle. Draw the mask over the object and make sure to include the shadow as well. Then activate the mask by clicking the green checkbox. Now let's customize the tracker settings to fit our scene. Click on the gear wheel to the right of the tracking menu. A fine grid allows tracking even the smallest objects, so we decrease this value. We will need no rotation detection and disable the option, while we leave the zoom option active. Please check that the keyframes will be shown in the timeline. And now we begin the guided tracking. First start the motion tracker. Tracking points on the object show how reliable the object could be detected. Use the keys B and N to move back and forwards in the timeline. As soon as the object becomes too small, so that the automatic tracking cannot work reliable anymore, you may correct the mask's position by simply moving the mouse in the desired direction. Press Escape and zoom into the picture to see more details. Now, instead of selecting the motion tracker, you choose the red circle for the teach-in mode. Pressing the key B, you move the timeline cursor backwards, frame by frame. Move the mouse to realign the mask. Use the cursor keys to change the size of the mask. With a little training, you will be able to do this almost in real time or even faster. Now let's work on the remaining frames. We go back to where we started and again use the motion tracker until the tracker can't trace the object anymore. We end the automatic tracking mode and zoom into the picture adjusting the size and position of the mask. For a good result it is very important that the mask will completely cover the object throughout the entire clip. When all looks good, please click on View Result. The yellow dotted line informs you that the preview is just being generated. Yellow marks above the keyframes show which clip regions have already been processed. The second motorcycle has vanished from the clip. This result shows how well Eraser has done its job, because there is no trace of this bike anymore. Thank you for watching and enjoy your work with height.